so I got this random um, drawing because I just want to show how to shade things properly and I ask you to to have one too so we can do this together and since I'm doing like a portrait um, I advise you to do one also or something that needs uh, more than one kind of shading so Elsa she has like a really light skin tone so I'll just start with the um, flat colors and um, if you are doing this with markers and watercolors and paint these should work nicely if you are doing this with pencils it's you have to do like everything at once if you just put the the, the flat colors just at once it won't blend that nicely so this is mostly for digital and um, moist kind of materials we're going to do her face first So start with like a light beige or if you're doing another character start with whatever skin color they have. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to block the here. Okay, so where's the light source? So um, I think I'm going to be doing like the the basic one. So the light source is like here, something like this here, or like here. So imagine there's like a lamp light bulb right here so if the light is coming sorry mike uh, like uh, never mind never mind just like glitched out for a second oh sorry um, so I asked you to have a, a sketch or something so we can color together. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for now, I just did um, the flat color for her skin, for her face. And the light source, like I said, is like here, something like here. So everything that's not pointed to here is going to have some kind of shadow. So especially the neck, the, the her ear, and like this part. Um, I'm going to shade this with, um, since she's all like a princess, I'm going to shade this with a more warm tone. So, so I'm going to slide a bit to the red side and then we're going to add here. And her ear. Here, the hair. Um, remember that everything casts a shadow, so this hair part is going to cast a shadow on her face. 
um, I'm going to define her cheekbones, something like this. I'm going to lay the flat colors first and then I'm going to blend it. Um, maybe here down her chin. Uh, and like the the light source is coming from the front of her face, I'm going to add just a bit here on her nose, on her nose bridge, and here where we have the nostrils. A bit down her eye because we have dark eyes, um, and here again for the cheekbones a bit on the chin and close to her hairline um so yeah this is for this is it for the the shadow um since um i want to do her cute i'm going to add just a bit of pink on her cheeks You can do this um, after you blend the shadow or like like I'm doing here before. Yeah, so now I'm going to blend this. Get a little smaller. Yeah, and just blend it. Um, if you are doing this with um, paint, you will be um, able to do this easily. But if you are doing with um, watercolors, um, you just have to add some more layers to the drawing. Um, this also applies to pencil and markers. So we're just blending her cheeks. Her nose like this. Here. Doing um, skin, it's like one of the easiest parts, I guess. Um, Maybe it's because I'm used to, because I do a lot of portraits, but um, I find skin easier because it's like a smooth surface. You don't have to worry much about um, bumps and weird shadows. Like the hair, it's, it's much harder. Hair and clothes. Here, that's it. We blended all. So this was for the shadows. Now we are going to do the highlights. So I'm just going to go back to the main color, the flat color, and just go a bit lighter. Not too much. And it's not white. It's like a really light um, yellow, orange. It's not pure white. Um, use the white just for like these these little things on her eye, like the 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 lights on the eye. Um, I'm going to add these highlights on her nose bridge, like this, on her forehead, a bit on her chin. Um, it, it's like you're applying makeup. Where do you apply the highlighter? On the nose, here, on the cheekbones, and on the chin. A bit here if you want to, 
on the eye corners. Okay, so now we're going to blend again. like this and then on her chin yeah and yeah i think that's it if you want to just do the basic things and not spend too much time working on this um so now i'm going to do her lips um i don't remember if she wears lipstick but she probably does so I'm just going to add some dark, kind of beachy salmon red. Zoom in so it goes perfectly. Um, the lips, um, it depends if you are going for more of a matte look or if it's like a lip gloss. So it also depends on the material. And the lips, they are usually shinier than the skin. And that's why I'm going to be adding the highlights to give the impression that her lips are not just 2D they have like some volume to it so add highlight to the middle and a bit of shadow on the corners a bit darker yeah like this and then just blend again and add a little bit of shadow on where her lips meet because usually a lip casts a shadow on the other one so the the upper lip casts a little shadow on the bottom like this um for her eyeball we have to remember that except for this little detail here um, nothing is going to be pure white so even though this is white we're going to make it a little um rosy like a really really light um rose pink lighter like oh that's too much here a little bit almost um white but not pure white Um, the shadows on the eye, they are a bit tricky because it depends if you're going for a more realistic look or just a basic one like we are doing here. So um, since I don't want to make her look like she she's kind of stoned, I will not use more reds. I'm going to use a little like less saturated red. So, kind of greyish. 
see this is more grayish, but it's also darker. And here where her lashes cast a shadow, blend it again. And that's basically it, yeah. Um, her iris, I think, are blue, I guess, I, if I remember correctly. So just do blue here. Uh, and the eye, it, they are, um, I won't say harder, but they are more complex to, to, to add a shading on it. So I'll go, I'm going to use a darker color and go here, oops and go just like in this part and get back to the original color and go a little bit lighter for the bottom of it just like this and again blend it this and that's it for the eye if you want it to have like more contrast you can add um uh, maybe a darker shade of blue but for now um that's it um hello um she is blonde like her blonde is not quite yellow it's more like platinum blonde so we're going to get yellow and lower the saturation of it so instead of just going here we are going to go a bit down like this and here. yes maybe a little more yellow yeah so um i won't shade her eyebrow much because we like i won't draw the each um, hair because it's going to take a lot of time so i will just to do the shadow here that uh, hair is casting i will just Add a bit of saturation and just go like this and maybe a bit here not too much and that's it for her face um, her hair it's going to be like this yellow so I'm just going to again just lay the flat colors and then we can start shading uh, it's important to, to lay always first the flat color so you have like base line to understand um, what color is going to be more present on the drawing on that specific part
I'm just going to do this part. I won't do her braid because it's going to take a long time. But whatever I do here, it also applies to the rest of her hair. Because I also, uh, I also want to do a bit of her dress. And this is going to take some time. Okay, so now we have the flat colors. Um, and the light is coming from here, from the front of her face, like she's like facing a light bulb. So, or like the sun, something like that. So the shadows are going to be more on this part and this part is going to have more highlights. So for highlights, I'm going to just go lighter and just leave the downslides, um, nothing for her highlights, not yet. So I'm just going to do hair on the front face part of her hair, like this, and this hair. This far, um, maybe this one. No, this one has it's like besides, um, adds a little bit here, um, maybe more here. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> and the, for the shadows, I'm going to increase the saturation. So I'm just going to go a little bit to the side and also go slide here a bit to the orange. So it's not, it's not going to be just pure um, yellow. You, you will have like some 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 orange some red to it you can see that um it's more saturated so the shadows should be here maybe i'm going to make this a little darker so you can see it better yes like this so shadows here here Like, like this, a bit here, here because this part is on top of this one, here, and here, because this part is like, Oh, and I can add just here too. Um, so a lot of people use um, the fingertip instead of using the blender, but it depends um, like if you're doing this digitally. And if you are doing this with paint, um, you just have to, to lay the flat colors and then use like a, um, a clean brush and just go over this and blending. If you are doing this with um, pencils, um, you just have to use both colors, so the lighter yellow and uh, the base yellow and just work with it, with them at the same time. And if you have one of those watercolor pencils, it's easier. Uh, I'm going to block here. Since this 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 yellow that I'm using, it's not much um, lighter than this one. I will blend it, and then I will add some more highlights.
later after we've done this okay so blending the shadows it's also important that you follow the hair so if the hair is doing like this curve you also want to work with your tool doing this curve as well so don't do like um, some perpendicular lines here because it won't look as smooth only if it's like like um, uh, art style but if you're going for like the basic one don't don't do perpendicular lines while blending And here, and then I'm going to add some stronger highlights just to the her like fringe. Going back to the, the color of this highlight and go even more lighter. It's almost white, but it's not quite. Um, if you can see this, because like your screen doesn't have the depth. I don't know how screen works, but depending if you're looking at this on your phone or in your computer, it, it may look um, different depending on the quality of your skin. Screen, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, I, these are lighter than the previous one I'm just going to you see that I'm not blending everything just the edges so I can keep um, the color intact on the middle I'm just blending the colors in order to make them actually look like hairs I'm going to add a little bit here because I think it's going to fit. Here you can, you can see the difference like between this yellow and this one. And again. And I'm going to add also here because it's not light enough and that's it for the hair um the same thing you do the same thing for the braid so don't forget that um some parts are on top of each other so i'll add don't forget to add i'm just going to do like this don't forget to add shadows here because this part is on top of this one um here here because it's like her body is in front of it here here because her ear is in front of it also a bit here maybe here here and here because like I said her body is in front of it and then you just uh, add yellow here and um, more highlights like on the middle of the strokes uh, yeah that's it for the hair 
um, her dress, it's like, um, I'm, I'm going to fill the, her body so we can actually try to do some transparency. Well, that didn't work quite well. I'm going to have to paint it this by hand. Um, because I her dress like here it has a bit of transparency. It's not um, uh, a, a thick um, it's not made from a thick material. Um I'm just going to make this bigger so we can go faster. Okay. Um, so this this part is made from a more thick cloth. So it's it doesn't have any transparency. I'm going to go with blue, not too dark, and just fill it in like this. And um, this is if you are doing with. Um, oops, this spot should be also beige. Um, if you are doing this with um, anything, it will yeah, it will work with almost any kind of material and tool that you might be using. So we're just going to add. We're going to get the blue again, and we are going to lower the opacity of the bro the brush so it's going to kind of mix with the beige from her skin and i have to do this in one stroke so it doesn't overlay you can see that the the color that is going to be here it's not exactly just pure blue it has a little bit of um maybe the the yellow from her skin you can see here that it's going to look be a bit more close to 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 purple than to just pure blue um now i'm going to go back to this color again and just do shadows. Um, here, a bit darker. Here, because her arm is in front of the light. And here, because this part is not facing. Oh, I forgot to to go back to the normal opacity. So yeah, that's why it was so light. Here for her arm and here. And again, just blend it. There's really um, I think drawing is the hardest part, so deciding what you want to do and how you want to do it and with which elements is harder than colouring, especially if it's just something that it doesn't need to be super realistic.
and highlights on him maybe like this and like him Um, here I'm going to use the same color I used on her skin, on her face, and I'm going to do the shadows that the her braid is casting on her back, like this, and here, and in this arm um, close to her armpit. A bit here, so we have a uh, more of a 3d look just a bit just really a, just a bit like here and a bit here close to the fabric of her dress maybe not this much yeah just a bit here blend it oh i'm going to add the highlights too I think I've used, um, I'm just going to use the eye drop thing and add him a bit on her back and in this part of her arm. And, and again, just blend it. And after you've done this, it's where you add details, like if she has some kind of car or maybe a pimple and I don't know, whatever details you want to add. Always leave them for the last thing after you've done the, the blending on the skin. Don't try to do it um, all at the same time. Leave the details for last. And that's it, I think. Um, it's just her hair missing. So, uh, we have 15 minutes. I'm going to do her hair. It's going to be quick. I also, so again, I also just want to point out that I also need a little bit of time to set up the stream, the next one. Okay. Just a second. <laughs> it's going to take like five minutes. Thanks. So here for the flat color, really quickly, and add the highlights. Ooh. Need to do this. Coloring is fun. I I think it's funnier. Like it's easier to do, much easier to do than plan whatever you're going to draw because you don't have to think much. You just do it. Um, and do the highlights here on the middle part, middle portion here, here, a bit here, and here, and here. And just blend it together. I'm going to add a bit of shadow here because her face is casting a shadow here. I forgot that. And I'm using Clip Studio so if you're also doing this digitally but you are using other software i don't know like the quality of the blenders but 
if you're looking to use something, uh, a software, I advise you to use um, Clip Studio because it's it's just perfect. It's good for blending. It's great for just coloring in general. And That's why... sorry, <laughs> no, 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 please. Like... It's, it's perfect because, like, for me, I got my like this uh, pen that I can connect to my computer and laptop, and I was kind of thinking to draw online learn to draw online digitally uh, yeah well i um clip studio is just like one time purchase you don't have to like pay like oh. photoshop so yeah it's it's really good uh is it possible for you to send my the link after this yes it's i sent it <laughs> Yeah, it's like I, I used to um, do everything on Photoshop, but like in Photoshop, you don't have as much resources as on Clip Studio. In, in Clip Studio, there's like um, a library that um, all the, the users can upload that they, their, their, like their blenders or, or, pens and stuff like that you can upload and have a lot of different tools without um, having to pay anymore mm. <laughs> and that's it for her i think her eye it's a bit red too too rosy so it so it looks a bit like she she's sleepy or maybe she done something before you know what i'm talking mm -hmm. uh, yeah that's it and i hope that you were doing following out so uh, a drawing and i hope this was um, helpful and useful yeah, for sure. Mm. And that's it for today. Yeah, we're going to send it, but uh, it's just like an example. Mm -hmm. And you can do whatever you want. It, it just depends on what you're feeling. Yeah, doing art, it's not about doing something correct. It's about doing what you like and what you like doesn't have to be the same as what I like or whatever a person likes. It's just, yeah, you do you. Doing art has to be fun. If you're not having fun, then you're not doing this properly. Yeah, I'm going to close my stream and... Well, thank you so much for the stream then.